So for lab seven, I'm going to have you uh, pull in some data and make a map. It's, uh, I think it'll be fun for you. Um, you've used ArcGIS Online before uh, with the MOLF map. Uh, this last week, you kind of set up your account. So you're going to go to ArcGIS Online and sign in. Whoops. Um, there we go. Okay. And you're going to go to My Content. And you want to create a map. So you're going to call it with your last name and the, the week seven. The tag we're going to do is quakes and the description will be um, quake evaluation. Okay, so I'm going to set up my map. Oh, I already did this one, so I'm going to spell seven. Now it thinks it's a new map, I hope. Okay. There it goes. Had me scared for a minute. Okay, so we have a blank map. I want to center on the ring of fire just because that's kind of what we're focusing on. And I didn't, there's no data here, but we're going to add some data uh, from the internet. So we're going to search online and the first thing I want you to search for is tectonic plates. And I want you to go through and f world transportation. Oh well that's because I didn't push go. Okay so I'm going to click go. Um, you want to make sure actually within map area Oh, that, that's good if you're zoomed in, but if we're in the whole world, we don't really care about that. So I can choose, I can click on this and add that. See what that looks like. Some work, some don't. And because I'm running this on the video, it's taking. Okay, so that one's not responding, so their site might be down. I'm going to try that one. Oh, that's pretty nice, but I don't like the way he wrote Pacific, so I'm going to remove that. Let's look at that one. That's a pretty good one. Okay, I'm going to keep that one. Um, there's oh, there's just hundreds of layers in here uh, that you could add, but I want you to find a good, clean plate tectonic lab uh, <laughs> layer that shows the... Uh, different plates. And then I want you to look up earthquake and do go. And for this one, there's a specific data layer I want you to find. Whatever. Um, it's called Earthquakes by Esri Disaster Response DM. So I want you to add that layer as well. And then when we have all the layers, we're just going to do done adding layers. Um, I want you to go into the legend and you can um, kind of explore this map. One of the things I'm going to ask you is uh, where you see the most um, events. Are they all small? Are they large? I just want you to kind of spend a little time zooming in and out and looking at these earthquake events. Um, remember, if you click uh, here, oh, that's Hawaii. How cool is that? So um, it's a magnitude 4. It was 12. That's the focus was 12.6 kilometers. It happened. Oh, that was just the other day. How cool. And then if I click more information, I get some detailed data about um, about this earthquake specifically. So um, I want you to explore this a little bit and then I want you to find one of the earthquakes that you I don't know that you're just interested in or a place that you're interested in. Um, I'm going to go 
right here in South America on this other plate. It's a convergent boundary, so there's more subduction here. I'm going to look at this pretty big, ooh, there's a big one on. I'm going to look at that. So I'm going to click on this. And what I want you to do is um, on a, just a Word document, I want you to record this. Um, where am I? Aha. I want you to record the event name so it would be uh, Yucaba, Bolivia, uh, the magnitude, um, the time and the place, magnitude, uh, event time, and then click to more information and just, I don't know if there's anything, uh, okay, event time was just a little bit ago. That's a pretty big magnitude. Um, gives me, oh, it's on the Nazca plate region. That's a good information. Gives me some general information about um, earthquakes in South America. Um, so I know it's a subduction. Hmm. This, oh, well, this 8.2, oh, that's the one in Bolivia. That was a really big one. So it says these earthquakes do not generally exceed large magnitudes, but they had it. Um, they had an exception here. So just write down a little information about that earthquake. You're going to come back to your map and your place, and you're going to click details, and then I want you to add map notes, and I'm going to call this Bolivia. Bolivia map notes and choose create and then I want you to take a stick pin and drop it on that earthquake uh, again type in the name or the magnitude ah. and any information you want to put in maybe the date. I forgot when that happened. I didn't write it down. Blah, blah, blah. And you're going to close that. And so now you've added a map note to that map. Um, if I go back to uh, details and legends, um, my map note is there. Then you're going to save your map again. And then you're going to share your map. You want to make sure everybody can see it. And so in the assignment upload, instead of adding a document this week, you're going to copy and paste your tiny URL plus the information for questions 1, 2, and uh, one, two, and 3. So it's more this week about kind of observing and playing around with the map. Okay, I hope it's fun for you. It was great. I loved it.